I am by no means a great rogue. I'm only doing this video because you guys asked for it. People have helped me with these add-ons in the past, and I think it's good to help you guys out too. For a more in-depth look at each add-on, you can check out YouTube and Google for specific guides. The first add-on I'm going to show you is Bartender, which is basically taking the base UI of World of Warcraft and turning it into pretty much anything you want. You can move anything around, you can make bars invisible, click through, you can have them pop up when you bring your mouse over them, which is what I'm showing you right now. Uh, I'm speaking over a video that I recorded previously, so I'm just commentating on it. The buttons in the middle are click through and I think that's 50% opacity. I just use it as a gauge for cooldown, so there's kidney shot, blind, and vanish. Right now I'm showing you that you can click the bartender tool around the map and it'll turn everything green and it'll let you see what's turned on and off as far as bars go. You can drag and drop them anywhere and then the button at the top you can hit lock where they won't move. When you right click the button, I think I did a left click there, but when you right click it you get up this menu option. You can go through every bar that can be modified and then through that you can turn them on or off. You can do alpha, scale, batting, buttons, rows, uh, and visibility, which I'll click in a second here. You can see, or you can set them to show up when you're stealthed or not in combat or not, if you're in cities, all kinds of cool stuff. You can even set a fade out delay, which you see there the uh, fade out alpha, fade out delay. Eyesight is what I used for my energy bar. You can set up pretty much anything in the game using Eyesight, so there's probably a better add-on for mana, energy, and rage just by itself. It's probably a pretty heavy add-on to load just for energy, but I haven't found anything else. You can set up uh, your refresh rate, visibility, if you want it to be at an angle, you can set um, little markers on the bar. You see there the little white mark, that's my 40% energy, or 40 energy, my mistake. And basically when energy is up to that point, I know I can do almost anything as a rogue. The next major add-on is Mixed Scrolling Battle Text, or MSBT for short. That's the damage in, damage out and some of the buffs you get that you see on the left and right in the middle of my screen in the video. There's scroll areas you can set, there's general. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, custom media, that's my font. It's called Diffused, it's free online. Just Google it. When we get to events here, it's basically everything that's happening to you or you are doing to someone else. You can turn all that off or on. You can set your own modifiers. You'll see right here I've turned a lot of stuff off because I have other add-ons which show me in a better way what's going on. You can have uh, full skill names listed out, you can abbreviate it, you can delete it completely. You can set damage in and damage out by the player. So say if you're getting healed by someone you can set it to show whose name it is so you know who to go protect. Spell Alerter is old, kind of outdated, considering there's a new one called Gladius LOS A, I believe, where it does everything by voice, but it's still really good to get a visual for it as well. I think I click a test here. That's what it looks like when anything happens. It can be freezing trap, spells, you can set uh, modifiers for that. You can also set a spell list, which I'll show you in just a moment. Right there, you can set it for just a certain buffs, or you can also do an ignore, which there's so much shit on there by default that you might want to ignore. Just basically the big cooldowns you want. Tidy Plates will change the nameplates above your targets to allow you to see buffs and debuffs on the target. There's specs for healing, tank, damage. Well, maybe there's, I think there's healing. 
No, maybe not. But I'll go into the add-ons here and show you. You can do by threat, you can change colors, you can do class colors, make them larger, smaller. Aura timers are very important so you know how long your stuff's going to stay on, but the aura list is very specific. You can turn off everything or turn on specific things you want. This list is case sensitive, so make sure you pay note to that. You can list it as my kidney shot or kidney shot as a whole. I do that because there's kind of a bug where if other people do kidney shot, it might not show your own. Also, you can take the spell number, which you can get on Wowhead, and you can substitute that if it's not picking up the direct name that you type in. Weak Ores is a very important add-on to have as a rogue, especially sub using Paralytic Poison. You open it up, you see all the stuff I have running right here. I've got two indicators for my trinkets, and then I've got some stuff for recoup, slice and dice, Paralytic Poison Stacked, Paralytic Poison Proc, and the Paralytic Poison Root. The whole thing runs on auras, so buffs and debuffs you can set for your target, targets around you or yourself to show visual indicators on screen. You can set sound cues to when you get buffs, like when I have my PvP trinket up, I have a song play. I got a lot of requests for my weak aura strings, which I will put in the link to this video. Um, pretty much just play around with it, guys. It took me all day to figure this out when I first started leveling a rogue. Uh, I had a friend show it to me, and he stressed how important it is to have. It's like, if you have a Naga mouse, it's like getting another one of those. Like, the skill stuff you get from going from a two-button mouse to a Naga, you just have a better understanding of what you're doing as a rogue with this add-on. With weak ores, you can track your paralytic poison stun, and around that you can time your cheap shots and kidney shots. It's possible to lock someone out with stuns only for probably 14 to 16 seconds if you get perfect procs. I've killed people in openers with nothing but straight stuns, rotating paralytic and kidney shot. Setting up a subterfuge timer is really important if you have that spec. There's also a bug. If you vanish while subterfuge is going off, um, you won't actually go invisible, so with your Vanish macro, you're going to want to have a Cancel or a Subterfuge. And let's put it all together with some combat. It's going to hit a training dummy, and you can see all the stuff that we've mentioned. So combo points are from Tidy Plates automatic thing it'll do. You can see the buffs and debuffs I'm putting up. Paralytic Poison, proc. You'll see it stack again. Slice and dice, recoup going. Energy bar, waiting on that 40. The timers really help on everything. Um, the timer for, say when I hit a cooldown and you see over any shot there, that's called Omni CC, I believe. Yeah, that's Omni CC. Uh, in Warlords of Draenor, they have a default set where you can have numbers over your cooldowns, so you won't need Omni CC anymore. But right now, you can't scale the size of the numbers, and the numbers are so large that it's probably hard to tell what cooldowns you're using. So I have that turned off in Draenor. I'll probably still be using Omni CC. Everyone, thanks for the views, thanks for the subscriptions. I don't know what I'm going to do with this YouTube channel. I never really wanted to make it a big thing. I kind of just use it to put whatever I'm making. It's kind of like a, a history, a catalog of the stuff I do. It's not really for public consumption, but, I mean, if you guys like it, that's awesome. And that's it. Uh, again, thanks for the views, and I will see you in Azeroth.